all right got somewhat of a sort of interesting but not so surprising video here uh, this time it is the Jesuit Pope Francis telling the Jesuit Joe Biden that he's a good Catholic and to keep taking communion even though Joe Biden actually contradicts stuff the Catholic Church is right on, you know, for example, the Catholic Church opposes abortion and the sin of, of homosexuality, and Joe Biden is for all that stuff, but uh, it just shows that, you know, the Catholic Church is willing to set aside all their, their morals, the higher-ups, the clergy, the, the leadership in the Vatican, to set aside all their morals, their supposed morals, uh, to, ma to maintain control over the free nations uh, that are left, like America, for example. What it says here on Protestia, Biden uh, says Pope Francis called a good Catholic keep taking communion. This is about nine months ago, but the, fa the fact of the matter is, is that Revelation chapter 17, 18 clearly show that the Roman Catholic Church, the Vatican is Mystery Babylon. And Jesuit Joe Biden and all the others, uh, like Obama and Trump and all those other guys, Donald Trump, um, all these guys were just agents of the Jesuit Pope in Rome. All these guys, most of them, uh, for that, that part, were trained at Jesuit schools. Trump was trained at Fordham University. Uh, Joe Biden went to a Catholic high school. I mean, uh, Bill Clinton, for example, went to a Jesuit, Jesuit school as well. I think it was, um, I believe it was Fordham University. I can't remember exactly, but these guys were Jesuit trained. But here it says on Protestia, well, that answers that. Joe Biden met with Pope Francis in person during his visit to the Vatican today with the president of the United States clear and content with the man who sits in the seat of Rome in Rome, uh, did, not did not confront him about being one of the most pro-choice presidents to ever live. After a photo op with the Italian, Italian Prime Minister Mario Draghi, a reporter asked Biden, did the issue of abortion come up at all? Biden responded, no it didn't. We just talked about the fact that he was happy, I was a good Catholic, and keep receiving communion. Yeah, exactly, it proves my point. They're going to set aside all the supposed morals of Roman Catholicism uh, to maintain their control over America. Because really, when you get down to it, openly they're against abortion, but secretly, I mean, the Jesuit priest, what's the guy's name, Robert Dran or whatever, he actually was, the Jesuit priest actually uh, helped pave the way for the legalization of abortion in America. So anyway, continuing on, says the fully-throated endorsement is likely to infuriate conservative Catholic organizations like LifeSite News and Church Militant who have, who have been criticizing the Pope for years over his inconsistency around the murder of millions of babies a year and the fact that he is harder and more openly critical of capitalism and the destruction of the environment than the destruction of children via abortion. Uh, it's kind of funny too because what happened to papal infallibility? And by the way, too, you gotta love it when Catholics say, you know, you know that the Catholic Church is unified. All you Protestants, which I'm not even a Protestant. Protestantism is just Reformed Catholicism. That's all that it is. But oh, you Protestants, you're so divided. You look at all the 45,000 sects or whatever. Um, look how divided Catholicism is. I mean, you got the pre-Vatican II Catholics who, who can't stand the modern Catholic Church and constantly criticizing the modern Catholic Church. And you got all these other sects and different, you know, breakoffs and and you know. All these different you know groups within Catholicism. I mean, Catholicism is every bit as divided as as Protestant, Protestantism is, you know. And it's this kind of stuff here proves. And again, whatever happened with papal infallibility? I thought the Pope was protected from all error according to the Catechism, you know. I thought I thought whatever he says is you know inspired by God. He's protected from all error. He cannot. He's guided by the Holy Ghost. Well, uh, disputes. Whenever whenever these guys criticize the Pope, it refutes papal infallibility. Because they're, they're saying that the Pope is wrong on this stuff, which he is, by the way. So anyway, in September, Biden previously said, I happen to be a practicing Catholic, and one of the things I like about my Pope uh, today is that he is all about renewal and forgiveness. That's what he is about, and I'm looking forward to, I hope, to get to see him in the not-too-distant not too distant future. Some American Roman Catholic bishops will find themselves disappointed by this, as they hope that their morally uh, decrep decrepit leader or at least try to function like a Roman Catholic with Bishop Thomas Tobin noting and he you know, gives a quote from the priest, which again, it destroys papal infallibility because the Pope is wrong on this stuff, which he clearly is, and the Catholics are criticizing him, but then turn around and say, oh, he's infallible and protected from all error. You know, the Catholicism is full of contradictions like that. But anyway, in November, the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops is expected to draft a document on rules for who can and cannot take communion, and many are hoping that it will include something about not giving bread and wine to the unrepentant pro-choice politicians. You got a bit of a problem there because the Pope says Biden can keep having communion, so you're going against what your own Pope says, which, you know, again, further proves this point that, you know, they'll say that the Pope is infallible whenever he says it is from God, but then they're going to go against what he says. So. You know, Roman Catholicism is a false religion, and stuff like that proves that. And this is also why, too, 
the hierarchy of Roman Catholicism it, Catholicism is unscriptural because you know you should be holding your leader of your church accountable. But when you say he's oh he's infallible, but then you're criticizing him, you're contradicting your own doctrines because Roman Catholicism is not from the Holy Spirit of God. Roman Catholicism is a satanic religion. It is just nothing more than a mixture of the Greco-Roman heathen religion in with some truths from the New Testament. Plain and simple. So stuff like that proves that uh, Roman Catholicism is Mystery Babylon in Revelation 17 and 18, and the Pope is nothing more than the modern-day Diotrephes condemned in 3 John chapter 1, verse 9, who wants to have preeminence among the brethren. The papacy is also condemned in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 1 to 4, because they rule over the, the assembly, they rule over the flock. So, which you know, a whole other issue on that. But anyway, don't be deceived. Uh, Jesuit Joe Biden further showing his Catholic uh, Jesuitical leanings. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.